Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I rise to ask that the assembly adjourn today in memory of Deb Hubsmith, founder of the Safe Routes to School National Partnership. Deb passed away last week in Fairfax after a two-year battle with leukemia. Deb was a passionate, creative, thoughtful, dedicated, and tenacious advocate and leader in the movement for healthy, active communities. She brought incredible integrity and commitment to her work to advance safe routes for children and families to walk and bicycle to school and in everyday life. She simply did all the right things for all the right reasons. She was recognized several times with various awards for her work. In 2012, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recognized Deb's passionate leadership with the Pioneering Innovation Award as a game changer in advancing policies and strategies to prevent and control obesity. Active Living Research honored Deb with a 2015 Translating Research to Policy Award. The Associate, Association of Pedestrian and Bicycle Professionals gave her their 2015 Lifetime Achievement Award. Deb's achievements are far and wide. In 2000, Deb worked with then Congressman Jim Oberstar from Minnesota in establishing a federally funded pilot Safe Routes to School program in Marin County. Based on the success she helped create in Marin, Deb again worked closely with Congressman Overstar in 2005 to obtain $1.1 billion in federal nationwide funding for the Safe Routes to School program through the federal transportation bill known as Safety Lou. 15,000 schools across the country have received funding from Safe Routes to Schools. In anticipation of the federal funding, Deb founded the National Partnership in 2005. In this capacity, Deb testified before congressional committees about the benefits of Safe Routes to School. Under Deb's leadership, the National Partnership has today become a powerful coalition with more than 750 partners, a $3 million annual budget, and nearly 30 staff across the country. Also in 2005, through Safety Lou, Deb helped establish the federal non-motorized pilot program, bringing $25 million to Marin County and three other communities across the country to build out bike and pedestrian infrastructure. In 1999, Deb was instru instrumental in establishing the nation's first statewide Safe Routes to School program in California through AB 1475 by Assemblywoman Soto. In 2007, Deb helped to secure permanent funding for the program through AB 57, also authored by Assemblywoman Soto. Deb also co-led the California Advocacy Campaign and coalition that secured the new $130 million per year in 2013 for the active transportation program through SB 99. Congressman Oberstar used to say, we're changing the habits of an entire generation. That was Deb. Beyond bicycling, Deb was also passionate about yoga and dance and her hobbies. She was a great believer in the power of intention, prayer, and Reiki. In dealing with leukemia, Deb, always the advocate, encouraged everyone to be registered as a potential bone marrow donor through bethematch.org. She loved the beach and the sun and took annual trips to Kauai for yoga retreats. She was a gymnast and cheerleader growing up, and she channeled that positive energy into her work. In a final statement to the National Partnership staff and board members, Deb said, I have so much gratitude for all of you. Thank you for growing and diversifying our, move our movement for healthy kids, streets, and communities. If Deb were here today, she would call on all of us in the legislature to increase California's investment in safe bicycling and walking infrastructure for every community in the state. Deb leaves behind a nationwide legacy in a national movement that she helped create. Carrying on that legacy, many of her close friends and colleagues are here with us in the gallery today. Deb is survived by her husband, Andy Perry, her mother, Mary Lou, her father, Jack Hubsmith, and his wife, Ellie, her sister, Christine D'Angelo, and her partner, Patrick Bastian, her niece, Carly D'Angelo, and her nephew, Drew D'Angelo. Deb is also survived by her loving aunts, uncles, and cousins, and her amazing community of close friends. We all miss you, Deb. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Levine. Members, please bring the names to the desk.